Shotgun Sean in the building. All right. Again, man, welcome back. You know, we had a, we had a pause here for a minute. Um, all right, my guy. So you you uh you reached out to me. Um, yes. So what's up? The floor is yours, bro. I want to talk about um, drivers. They're, they're, they're always saying there's a shortage on drivers. Mm-hmm. Do you think there's a shortage on drivers? Me personally, no. I yeah, mean, you, I, you, I, there's I, not. I, I, I don't. You know, I, I think that's just a, that's just a ploy. I think that's just the media. I think that's just a, uh, I, I think that's just you know, um, companies that's 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 you know that's that's jumping on the twin i mean on the trend just to say oh well this year is a driver shortage it's eight eighty thousand last year it was 60 the year before that it was 50 year before that but how is there a driver shortage if there's drivers or there's people coming into the industry every week you got companies that got their own schools that's that got people coming in there. You got schools that got that that got classes every week. Hell, you just got California just had over sixty thousand CDL recipients this year. Yeah, this year. Wow. So incredible. So again, I, I it's not no driver shortage, but I can tell you, I can tell you what it is a shortage of. It's a shortage of parking. Let's talk about that. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's talk about Definitely. that. How much? How much of a of a parking shortage out here? Let's talk about that. <laughs> but no, y'all, right. y'all don't want to talk about that. Y'all want to talk about oh, it's a driver shortage. Yada yada yada. Let's put it. Let's 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 put it this way. If the companies was upfront and fair with the drivers then they wouldn't have no problem. The problem is a retention. That's it. You get a right. you, you you get a driver in there that's been driving say five let's say the minimum five years. And you're gonna you you you're gonna bring them in, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna dress them up, you're gonna bring them in and then all of a sudden you get to the company and it's not what it's about. You just basically you you just basically fib to the driver and now he's gone. That's another seat you got to fill. It's retention. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. That's it's what, true. That's what it is. It's retention. And drivers, companies now, when, they, when you call, say you're looking for another job, you want more money. Mm-hmm. When you call a company, they're, they're advertising like crazy now, all these different companies now, mm-hmm. with all these big promises, big money and uh, everything. And then when you call them, they call you back to the recruiter. They say, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we only need five years, though, even though you've been driving for 19, 20 years. Mm-hmm. We only need five years' experience. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're going to pay you for. Did you notice that? Exactly. I've I, noticed that. I always ask. Them I've noticed that. When I, when I do the make the call, when I do my make the call videos, it's, 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 it looks like it's a, a, it's a common theme. Is that yeah. they they don't you know they say they pay for experience, but look like look like the look like the baseline pay is for everybody that's coming in. Bruh, I got six years of experience. How much I'm gonna get paid? Oh well, we'll start you off at fifty cent a mile. Okay, well, a person with right. six months experience, how much they gonna get paid? Oh, they they're gonna get fifty cent a mile. Uh, right. Okay, so if I got if I got ten years of experience, what am I going to get? Oh, well, we we're going to give you what you you know what the the starting pay. But I thought you said y'all pay for. Right. I, I thought y'all say y'all do by experience. Huh? Wow. I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't get it at all. I don't get it at all. I don't understand it. But you know, a lot of people keep. A lot of a lot of people that's coming into the industry is jumping from job to job over here talking about they looking for good pay, they looking for good pay, but basically, you know, the the the, the companies are basically paying the same, if not a cent or 
not a cent or two cent more if you going company driver now that let me let me clear, right. let me clarify what this is <laughs> yeah. if you going company driver i'm not talking about owner operator i'm not talking about lease and i'm damn sure not talking about 1099 i'm talking about company drivers that's the common theme uh, uh between all these companies out here anything more than that you will be either a lease op, owner op, or a 1099 guy. That's where you will see a bump up in the money. Right. But you don't want to but you don't want to touch that until you actually until you actually know the business. What do you, what, 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 how do you feel about that right there? Uh, I don't No, I I was told about lease op and myself, hey, you know, and um, you never own the truck, mm-hmm. and they could fire you at any time. Then do you lose your payment mm. that you paid into the truck already? Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it, it, it's it's something that these young drivers they want to they they think they get the impression that they they own the truck because they pull it in their driveway, so they go and make changes to it. Mm-hmm. You put all this chrome on it, look good, and buff it up and everything. <laughs> it's not their truck, so you know if you don't come into a lease popping without a down payment, a good money you saved up over the years, you know it's it's not going to work. Mm. I'm telling you that. I I've been you know I was trying to talk. I was almost talked into it a couple of times, but I got I got a mortgage payment and and a house to keep going. You know, you say, you, you, say you don't you say you don't need no more. You say you don't need no more payments. I don't need. I'm trying to cut my bills down, like pay my car. I pay the car off at least. So that's a good thing. <laughs> but if you got one income, yeah, how are you going to, you know, you know what I mean? How are you going to pay everything with I, one income? I hear you. I hear you. That's that's why a lot of these, that's why a lot of these newfangled drivers come on here like, yo, I'm going to put everything in storage and I'm going to go ahead and live out on the road and, and this, that, and the third, yeah. you know, and I'm like, bro, yeah. I, 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 I yeah, maybe you know the first. I'm, I'm going to tell you the first couple of years is going to be like okay, but after that, your ass going to want to go home, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Now let me tell you this. Let me let me tell you this because you know I've I've trained students. I'm a certified trainer actually, mm-hmm. and you get these young kids. These in their thirties, you know. They're all into it. Hey, I got my trainer. I got my trainer on Facebook bragging. I got their trainer. Yeah. They got the girlfriend, wife at home. And as soon as they go out with me, like the first week, they're all into it and stuff. Cause I'm doing most of the one helping them, actually. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm doing the show them how to fuel, how to back, how to do this, how to do that. Then the phone rings. And, oh, it's my, it's my old small lady. Let me take this. No, you're, no, you're, you're no. in training. You're not talking to your girlfriend or wife because you miss her, you know? Right. Okay, you're going to be out on the road with me. <laughs> I mean, at night, before you go to bed, yeah, I call her, tell her lover and everything, blah, 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 blah. Then you got to get to bed. You got to get up early. You know? Especially in the wintertime. Try going to Minnesota, Wisconsin, and get up at 1 o'clock in the morning when there's like 12 degrees. <laughs> and come out, come outside of me and do a free trip with me. <laughs> Like, uh, no, I can't get no, out of bed. I'm, I'm good. I'm still in the bed sleep. Can I get a couple of more minutes? Yeah. Set your alarm. <laughs> you have to get up an hour before our 10 hours is up. Oh, my <laughs> and then God. Go in, go, in, go in, loves, and get your, do your dolling up, get all perfume and cologne on you, whatever you got to do. And they're in there and getting coffee, and they're getting all this stuff. You can't eat. You got to eat before you go. <laughs> How about we just get the load delivered, then we we'll eat. So you, so you, <laughs> you know, we so, got going. So you rocking out, yeah. You you rocking out these new guys as as yeah. like the army, like yo, yeah. Put, yo, yeah. No, no. When you in the army and you in uh you in boot camp, it's all about boot camp. <laughs> Everything else gonna have to be secondary until boot camp is over with, right? Uh huh. That's what's yep. up, man. I was in the army. That's- I know how it is. That's what's up, man. So tell us, tell us a little bit, tell us a little bit more about about some of the. the well, I don't like to call them students, but 
tell us a little bit more about some of the trainees that you that you had that you had. Well, <laughs> you know, if you got I, some horror stories mm, or some success stories. What you uh, got? I got a yeah, I got a I do have a horror story. I tra- I trained a woman one time oh. from Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. Okay. And okay. I had a I had to pick her up in Detroit, Michigan. Okay. To okay. meet her family. They all came out. She comes out with green hair and big hoop earrings and everything else. And she saw it. Gets into the truck. She's got three, four bags of clothes. And I was like, oh, my God. Now, she was bragging how good she could drive in Detroit, Michigan. Mm-hmm. Well, you're from here. So I guess, you know, but you're in a semi now. You're not driving a car mm-hmm. or a pickup truck. You're driving a semi and a 53-foot trailer. Mm-hmm. And I, I trained her in the wintertime. Ooh. Now, she had to drive it manual. She shipped it good. Mm-hmm. She was okay, right? Mm-hmm. And then she got the attitude of going to eat every every Waffle House or uh, was it Chick-fil-A or well, whatever. Bojangles, that was in there. Okay. In Pennsylvania, we're going to Pennsylvania now. We're going to north, up to northern Pennsylvania. Okay. You know, way up in the mountains when they get to icy I eighty and I eighty one up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know you've been there. Yeah. You you've not, been there, and there's not, like multi reps. Yeah, not a fan. So anyway, we were coming to Lowe's Distribution Center in Pittston, Pennsylvania, mm-hmm. Jenkins Township, up eighty one. We're getting off the exit one eighty five. Now, we're getting off the exit. You're in gear. I think you better downshift. She goes, okay. Okay. Go to 8th or 9th or something to start downshifting. Then she couldn't find the gear. And we're coming to the light. It's red, and there's cars. Dead. Oh, my God. I had to physically stop her, put it in neutral, pop the air, and take over. She she just totally lost, freaked out because she was hungry. So we had to go deliver it, drop the hook mm-hmm. up there. I got her up there, and then she backed. You know, she backed it in. It's easy backing it. You know, it's, it's a huge place. Right. So we're going back. Now we got to go to Allentown. So we had to get back on four seventy six, the turnpike there, mm-hmm. for the suspension. She mm-hmm. wanted to stop on one of those Sunoco plazas to get something to eat. Again? Before we went to a again a water place, pick up water in Brenigsville, Nestle Water. Okay, uh, so we we stopped in heavy load. She, Nestle, I'm familiar. Yes, with oh yeah, yeah. And she got mad at me or something. I don't know what the hell's wrong. So she's arguing with me because I have a camera. I, I have a camera in my truck. Right. And. She said, I never said anything bad about her, okay? She said, oh, you you just don't want me in your truck. And I said, oh, my God, if only you knew. And um, now we have a right now to, if we don't want our student in the truck, we just call our boss mm-hmm. and have him removed. Because right. they're, they're, not, they're not learning. They just want to eat. They don't want to know the value of how to get to your next pickup, right? Right. And then go and deliver it. Without eating. I mean, run in, grab coffee, grab a snack, and get right out. She's in there at Burger King, chopping down on, on Whoppers and stuff. So I had to get... Mm, I'm telling you, you got to get out. Let's go. She goes, okay. I'm, I'm fed I'm fed now, and I'm, I feel good. Okay. You want to drive? She goes, yeah, I want to drive. Okay. And it started snowing. <laughs> it started snowing. Now, if you're good in Detroit, Michigan, you should be able to drive a turnpike because it's clear. Right. Ice, you know, there's ice on the side, but she's getting nervous. We we finally got to the water load. She packs in, and without me even helping her, now she was a good backer. She that got her confidence up, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So she's all happy. And then on the way out of there, we had to go back towards Kentucky, so we had to get back on 78 there west. Heading back to 81. All lights were out on our trailer. Our marker lights went out. Right. The burning lights went out. So we had to stop in Flying J. In uh, Fly, Fly Town, is it? Or something like that. Okay. 78, Pennsylvania there. 
we had to get that fixed. So we ran out of hours. We stopped in the huddle house, and she picked out there, too. I mean, this woman was like a, a restaurant in my truck. You know what I'm saying? Just eating everything at every place possible. And then she's wondering why she can't get out of the truck. She, okay, so she's we, full. Yeah, we 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 not gonna we we not even gonna go to air about you know what size she is and everything because I can imagine if she no, no 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 I mean then she's you know she's trying to go on a diet and everything but yeah, now yeah. we have a limit now yeah. in our bunker we have a three hundred pound limit because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I don't want anybody on top sleeping on top of me over three hundred pounds right. Cause that that's all it'll hold. That's all my bed'll hold, three hundred pounds. Right. And anyway, we went back to finally we got done. You know, she was she wanted to quit. You know, in the worst worst way. But if she quit, I would have had to take her back to Detroit. And no, no, you're not quitting. You're going to learn this, and we're going to get you in. So we took her to Elmwood, Georgia. I'm sure you know where that's at, mm-hmm. Campbell Boulevard. That's, that's where my terminal is. And then the, uh, the manager, the safety manager came out. And now we're going to te- road test her out here around Ellenwood, you know, up by uh, Forest Park. Mm-hmm. Up that way. We had to test her out. But we tested her out in a freight liner. I have a Kenworth. We tested her out in a freight liner because that's the, the, the local truck they used. He just wanted to see how she shifted. Right. But the safety manager gave up his CDL. So I had to sit in the back with her. And I, I is she going to pass? And I'm like, yeah, she's all right. Mm-hmm. She's bragging about how many miles she's going to run and making money she's going to make with this company and everything. She did good on the road test. They they got her, you know, they got her her own truck. Okay. She was thrilled. She was thrilled. And uh, she got a Kenworth and uh, uh, 10 speed. Okay. And he lasted. About I'd say about two weeks. Wow! And then she quit. That was all she, she quit again. That was all she wrote. That's all that. she wrote. Mm. She was only doing a thousand miles a week. Wow! Now the company wants you to do a little more than a thousand a week. At you're least. not making no money for that. Making no money. You, you, ain't, you ain't doing no money at a, at a, at a thousand miles a week, man. So how long how how long have you uh, how long have you been training for this uh, for this company? I've been training. For about seven years, okay. seven years, I had to get certified in Michigan. Mm-hmm. Uh, where was it at? Um, can't think of the name of it. Ra- Grand Rapids. I'm sorry, Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I, you know, you had to go to class orientation, train to trainer program they had, and then we had to discuss if we want to train a female or a male. Now, if you train a female, you have to, you know, you know, sexual harassment comes into play. Right, right. So you, you, if she's getting dressed, undressed, you got to be out of the truck and all mm-hmm. this. Right. And you know, we we started doing that. They started doing that. But I mean, I didn't mind having a female in the truck because they can cook for me. You know, I had to <laughs> get something out of. It. I, I had to get something out of it. You say you had to get you know something what I mean? out I of to, it. I used to bring the chicken and, you know, they, they put it in. I have a microwave in the truck and everything. Oh, okay. And toaster oven. Yeah, oh, yeah. They made some gourmet meals for me. And then my wife had to approve, of course. <laughs> so my wife had to meet had to meet my students. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we all met. You now, we took them to the from Motel 6 right. up there in Cleveland. Not Ohio now. Tennessee. Okay. Uh, and, you know, they're, they're, I don't want to say it on the air, but. They're not known, you know, they're not too comfortable. Gotcha. You know what I mean? They're gotcha. cheap. They're cheap hotel. So, um, as a matter of fact, I took her to that same hotel because they have to go by your home time. When you go home, they go with you, but not to your house. Right. They go to a motel they close to, to your house. To, to your, right, right. The first night she was there, there's a no smoking thing in there. Mm-hmm. And she's in the bathroom smoking, and the smoke's going to the vent. And then she's complaining about bed bugs, right? They called me from the hotel, and they says they want her out of here. I'm like, oh, wait a minute, hold on, hold on now. What did she do? She was smoking in the bathroom. You gave her a no smoking room, right? Okay, I, I understand that. And this is so. I went. I, it's funny. I mean, they it's, don't listen. It's it's funny that they gave her a no smoking room, but he, if 
But if she smokes in there, don't yeah. they don't don't they just charge it on the card? No, they they throw you out. Oh, okay. Motel Six does. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 pretty. They're, I mean, they're not the the cleanest people either. I don't know. I'm saying nothing, you know. Mm -hmm. But and bed bugs. They got bed bugs in there. So that's what she said now. Mm -hmm. So we had to get her a different room, and then we put her in another room, and then finally we got her. We got her done the training. You know, we got her done. Thank God, got her out of that hotel. And um, but some of these hotels are expensive, and some are cheap. You know, they're going to give you the cheapest one there is because you're only there for two days. You know, just doing the thirty-four reset. You know, right, right. And she was she was absolutely the worst student. <laughs> I mean, I've had I've had sixty five year old former Marines in my truck, mm -hmm. convicts. I, I had former convicts in my truck. They're out, you know, trying to make it back in the world again, get right. working again, and recuperate and get away from the the crime and the the, the bad the, the the dealings and stuff. Right. You know, and um, I trained a few of them, and they they don't listen because you're in Georgia now. You're driving through Georgia. You know, you're not be on that phone, texting nothing. Exactly. You got a nice little fine if they catch you. It's about let's see, about three thousand dollars if they catch you texting in the truck mm. in Georgia. Yeah, that's a lot and of money. And the company gets fined eleven thousand dollars. Fuck. Yeah. So I that's had a, a lot student. of cheese, bro. <laughs> that's a lot of cheese. Is right. I had a student now. Who was from Georgia? Now he 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 did good. You know he, he got trained out. They put him in a nice new uh, international, which okay. is what he wanted. Okay, ten speed. And he's good. He shifted. And he said, "Yeah, I just like to listen to my music." I said, "Well, okay, that's fine. All right, you're your own truck. You're going to be in your own truck, right? Okay, and you know you know the rules. You know you, you know the rules in Georgia. They'll be texting. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry, I got it, man. I got it." Okay. I got it, brother. I got it. All right. All right. So let's go. Yeah, they they now the company caught him the first time because they have cameras in the truck. Okay. In cameras, in cameras now, right. and out cameras. Now I I thought those they, cameras I thought those cameras only supposed to record in the, in in the case of a uh, an event. Now, yeah. How, yeah. How, how was yeah, they able that's to? What you think? Yeah. How how was they able to check them out on the phone if there was I, an event I, triggered? They. I don't know, but they they caught him mm. somehow. Okay, they caught him. They warned him the first time. Right. They they warned him, and he said, "Okay." So he went. He was good for a little bit, you know, about a month or two. Then he said, "Hey, let's let's text again." You know, they put the phone on their leg. I see drivers do that all the time. They put right. the phone on their leg, right? And they're touching it with their index finger, right? Texting. Looking up and then looking down, looking up. You can see it. it it's it's nonstop at everybody. Right. And um, and they if, caught him the second time. And if if you if it and it's funny and what these what these new drivers don't understand, especially the ones with these trucks that got these cameras in here, is that the reflection yep. off the windshield goes into that camera. Yep. Bro. Yep. It goes right. It it, yep. it 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 shoots right up there, right right to the uh, windshield. And if you got it, it now, if you got one of them cameras that's pointing out, yeah, yeah. It, it's still the reflection yep. still points into that camera. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, how about uh, that? You're uh, right. A lot of these guys, that's you know, that's how they, that's how they get, how they get triggered at night. Because I was driving, I had a, I had a truck with a with a with a with a forward facing and uh, outward facing camera drive cam. Latex, Gene R. Shrugel, right. what's up? Um, <laughs> I had my right. I had my visor down because right. I I had my visor down. I always drove with my visor down. I always drove at it during the day, at night. I always had the visor down at an angle. Tell right. me, tell tell me why I get a tell me why no trigger. No trigger now, no hard turn, no hard stop, no nothing. Tell me why yeah. I get a I get a I get a Qualcomm message. Hey, uh, 
Can you please uh raise up your your visor? It's obstruct it's obstructing the camera. Huh? Right. Mm-hmm. Wait, hold I'm I'm looking around. And yep. I'm over here like, nah, I know I didn't trigger this motherfucker. It wasn't speeding. <laughs> wasn't speeding or nothing like that. And I'm like, wait, I thought y'all supposed to I thought y'all supposed to only look at the camera if there was an event. So I typed it in. It says, uh, what you talking about? Well, you you got your visor obstructing the 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 camera. Yeah, because you know it was sun. You know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm yeah, trying to that's drive. True. Yeah, I, no, listen. This, this is what I said. I, I'm trying to drive. It was like, no, no. This is at night. Really? Okay. So, how is you guys supposed to be? Aren't you guys supposed to look at this only if the uh, if the truck trigger it? Oh no, yo, no, the, no. We we got full access to the system any, anytime we want. I said right there. That's why I say every time motherfucker tells me, "Oh well, don't worry about it. The camera won't come on unless it's straight bullshit." Yeah, bullshit. bullshit. Yeah, they can they can trigger anytime they, they want. Can, they can yeah, and they can any, watch you anytime they want. And I can tell you another. I got you. I got another example. The previous company I was with, right? Uh, shout yeah. out to the previous company. I um there was an accident. Uh truck bumped into me, you know, scraped my uh scraped my 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 front fender off and all like that. And I told him about it. And, you know, I said I was in the loves, came back, bam, bam, boom. Now, here's the thing. I don't think the I don't think the truck, you know, it was so light. I don't think the other truck triggered it i just think that you know probably the tail end of the of the of the of the you know just scratched it or whatever whatever because see they was funny about their trucks you know what i'm saying because you know once you once you sign off on how a truck is when you get it you you they want it back or they they charge you for it that's what i was like okay tell me why the chick went right back into the thing right then and there and 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 told me, yeah, you're right, Sean. Somebody just grazed up against the truck. Okay, we're you, you're good. I was like, okay. <laughs> so that tells yeah, me that that, yeah. that 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 you know, that I, I don't, I, I never believe that shit. I never believe it. It's it's always running. It's always running. Yeah. And they got access to it. So don't believe when they tell you, oh no no, it only triggers when when you do a heart. No no it don't. <laughs> That motherfucker is always running, bro. I wish they, you know, I wish they would would do it. A, a lot of companies get a put a dash cam in there mm-hmm. where you could do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If you're coming through, like a say Atlanta, you know Atlanta, you know Atlanta, 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 Spanish for Atlanta, two eighty five, seventy five, <laughs> eighty five, <laughs> twenty, <laughs> any, all any, them, any, anything in Atlanta. Let me tell you. Uh, I have to go to Atlanta uh, tomorrow, so and the SEC championship is tomorrow. Oh, okay. I gotta be there tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's we, gonna be fun. Yeah, we know how that traffic's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, it, and I was actually there when the World Series was going on. The Braves were away though; they're playing the Astros away though. Mm-hmm. But the people were still in the stadium watching the game on the jumbotron. Oh, okay. And you know where the stadium is, so it's right at the split there, <laughs> two eighty five seventy five split. Oh they they just had a ten car pile up there uh, two nights ago. I think it was. Wow. Ten car pile up there, and and you get on eighty five now north, heading to Carolina. You sh- it's all construction all the way down to South Carolina. Welcome sign. You got to. Yeah, it's and there's wrecks. There's people driving in construction zones through construction zones. They're not even watching their uh, where they're going. They're just driving, texting, and truck drivers do it too. I see. I see a lot of stuff. Half it's, of them don't even have driver's licenses now. It's crazy. They're, they're driving a truck. It's crazy. Yep. Shotgun shine. How 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 long you been driving, bro? It's not like you've been driving for. I've been a, driving. For a good 
19, 19 years I've been driving. Oh, okay. So you started years. So you started in 2000. Two, no, I, well, 2003, we'll say. Okay. So how, how many is that? I, I lost count. Uh, but well, you figure 20, I, 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 you figure 2020. Uh, 2021 now. So. 2021. So, yeah, about close, yeah, about close to 19 and some change. Yeah, 19 years. I started. I started when we had no no navigators. We just had, you put, they, wrote, they wrote the directions on your windshield. <laughs> with the dry, it. with the dry eraser. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. On the windshield, and okay, seventy-five north. Let's go here. Okay, make a right. And okay, now how am I getting to the place? <laughs> exactly. That's what get to for that. The, or and, we and wrote it know, on our hand. And you know that's a tip. <laughs> you know that's that's a tip for 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 drivers and new drivers alike. That's a tip, man. Get yourself a dry eraser. And, you know, yeah. like, if any information, like, if you, like, on the phone or something like that and you can't find a pen or something like that, just, you know, write it on there. Or you can write the information, like, you know, what 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 side that you need to go into or whatever the case. And then just erase yeah. it off the window and you're good to go. Good to go. You know what I do now when I'm, when I'm going to a stop, I don't, I've never been there. Mm -hmm. I Google it. That's what I do. I street view it. Mm -hmm. I street view it. And then I read the reviews. People, other drivers, they'll put reviews on there of what they thought about the place. You know, mm -hmm. oh, fast unloading or, oh, they took their time. You'll get a couple of bad ones on there. Right, right. But, you know, um, you ever been to Certainty in Athens, Georgia, right by the, the university? I, I don't. You ever go up there? I don't know, but I don't know, but I'm not going to say no. I've probably been there. It's, uh, it's the insulation they they. They they do an installation there for um, you know attics and stuff. Right, right. And when you when you pull in there, it, the the scale the, the guard check, it's eight foot. I think it's eight foot seven wide. Now my truck is eight six, so <laughs> they, the guard there. She's a blonde woman. She works there, right? Mm -hmm. And she said to me, I said, "What happened to the stop sign?" Uh, you don't want to know, she said. You don't want to know. I said, I do want to know. <laughs> well, as some of these drivers, you know, it means stop. <laughs> it doesn't does mean, they don't I mean, stop go at right all. through the guard check. You got to check in first. <laughs> they don't stop at all. And they hit That's the sign. Crazy. All right. So they don't even speak English. So 19 uh, years, man. You, you've you been rocking out for 19 years. How many trucking companies have you drove for and which ones uh -oh, you've been boy. fired from? Um, let's see. It started with Warner. Wait, Schneider. Okay. Warner. Uh, First Fleet. That's in Arizona, though. Okay. First Fleet. I came out to Tennessee night. Uh, Chief Transport, who got sold out to Riverside Transport Incorporated, RTI. Okay. They were okay. And then, then came, who was after that? Super Service, was it? Yeah, Super Service. Yeah, they got brought up by GN, I mean, by J&R Swoogle. Right. You know, Super Service, they were in Ellenwood. Right. And they gave me a $10,000 sign-on bonus. Okay. And, yeah, but they, you know, they gave you an old, you know, old freight liners. But, you know, but once you got them fixed up, <laughs> they were okay. But um, 2014s and 2012, I had 2010 international because they wanted a, a stick, mm -hmm. but they had automatics too. But they gave me they gave me the bonus and they paid for it too. They like, paid it out over the year, so right. that was good. But then they got they got in trouble with lawsuits and stuff with um, Rex out there in Colorado. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one couple that was killed out there. Right. That was a shame. You know, they got sued and. Shugo was just refrigerated. Right. And Shugo bought them out and got rid of, sold all their old, beat up, rusted out Ganey trailers. Mm -hmm. Sold all their old trucks. And then he gave us all newer trucks, like Henworths or Internationals. Oh, wait, and wait. So you, so you can't, you were still there during the, during the Shugo transition. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was doing, I had a, uh, can I explain this? They took the decals off 
of my truck, but they put a little like super services on the side mm-hmm. and we couldn't haul Shugel trailers yet until the transfer took over. Took about a year for them to transfer everything over. Mm-hmm. Good year. Or two maybe. They kept saying, Well we can't we can't haul your trailers yet unless they have an S on them with a the number. Right. And then the S. That's a super service. Because we do lows, a lot of lows. Oh, some lows will give you a trailer to empty one. They'll tell you which one to look up to. You don't get your choice. <laughs> and um, they would always give me those old beat-up gainy ones. So I would say, well, I, I I can't find any empties here. Well, let me look. Let me relook. Oh, well, you can go right? I said, yeah. Oh, there's a show going over there. Does it have an S on it? Yes, it does. It's empty, too. Well, why don't you give me that one? <laughs> so, that's in uh, Statesville, North Carolina. Okay, okay. So, so how long? How yeah. long was it? How long was it before you uh, left Shugo? I'm still with Shugo. You I'm st- still with Shugo. You still with him today? Yeah, I'm still with Shugo today. Today? Yes. Yeah. Are you today. serious? Yeah. Bro, why you Hold didn't on, start? Oh. Go ahead. Bro, why you didn't start? Ahead, why you didn't start the conversation off by saying, "Yo, I'm still with Shrugal." <laughs> yeah. Well, I really, you know. Oh my God. You know. So you. Yeah. So, so you still with Jay and R. Shrugal? Are Are you still getting? Still with them. Are you still getting the 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 ten thousand dollar bonus that that Super no, Service promised you, no. or is it or is it a new round of bonus now? No, it's they got the ESOP. Uh, employee stock option program. Oh, okay, so you that's, so, that's what they have. Okay, but they took a hit. They took a hit with that with the uh, COVID. We all did. A lot of companies took hits with that. Wow. With the COVID, so I lost like like four thousand dollars. What? Yeah, I lost four thousand dollars. You got to work seven years mm-hmm. with Shugo mm-hmm. to, to be a hundred hundred percent. Hundred percent. Right. Right. Hundred percent. Now you don't have to put no money into it. No, you already yeah, do, you, you, know. you already in it. They they already Yeah, I'm already in it. Right. Yeah. You already in it when you get through there. Man, uh-huh. look, I, I need to know, uh, shotgun. I, I need to know, is Don still the safety director? No, no, he's gone. So, he uh, retired, went back to Florida. So the rumors are true that Don is no longer the safety director with uh Jay and Arshwogel. No, Don is no longer a safety guy. Just in our sugar. Oh my God! Um, here's Dan Dan Denoff ain't there either. Who? Remember him? Dan Denoff, Hoff Denoff. He was vice president. He oh. used to be vice president of the company. Oh my God! He's not there he no was, more either. No, he's gone too. Yeah, he got caught taking those visors off the windshield over the camera. That's what I heard. Now that's what I heard. He took 200 trucks Mm -hmm. and took the visors off, and he got nailed. $1.4 million fine. Wow. Just because just because we just because we we let the visor down to to quote unquote shield the sun. That's what we was doing. Shielding the sun. I'm just saying. Yep. So he took took them off. So he 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 took them off and took a hit Mm -hmm. for that. Took a hit for that, wow. and they released him. So now Rick Shugel, Rick Shugel is back now. Oh. Like, and we got a guy, we got a new CEO, uh, very very cool guy, mm-hmm. uh, Sean Clayton. I met him out there in New Orleans, mm-hmm. and he they gave me my new truck. I got a 2022 now. Shotgun. And, um, shotgun. I got a, shotgun. Let me ask you this: you you think I got a chance to come back? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh man. Oh, man. Yeah, you come back anytime. <laughs> you say I can come back anytime, huh? And you, I'm telling you, use my name, you'll get back in there. <laughs> so we'll tell me, yeah, nice automatic, all speed. <laughs> no, you got the reefer side. Were you on the reefer side? Yeah, I was on the reefer side. Show sure was. You got John Euchre. Uh, U- U- John Euchre. U- 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 yep. He's still my, there. Yeah, he's still my there. My man. Yep. He he's still there. He's on the refrigerator. And you got Steve Cash is still there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Barry Adams. He's still Preston Rose is my DM. Okay. Fantastic. 
What about and what what about Columbus? Is uh is uh what's the black guy? Jonathan. 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 Yes. Jonathan's still there. Yes, sir. Still there. Oh yeah, he's a big shot now. Uh, he's a, what? He's a safety manager. What? Uh huh. No way. Yeah, way. I gotta call. I gotta and call. I gotta call him. You better call him, and and you better you can become a trainer if you want to do that again. Wow. Okay. You can become a trainer, and with Troy, remember Troy? Mm-hmm. He's out there, and uh, well, he switched. He was in Wisconsin, and then he went out to Newham. Now he's working in Newham. He does the trainer trainee program. Wow. Out there in New Orleans. So there's yeah, I got so there been some yeah. big so there's dare I say some some big improvements since I left? Oh yeah. Yes. They made major improvements, dude. They got um you don't have to pay for your weight scale tickets no more. Okay. You download the app, Way My Truck. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. You pull on the scale, you type everything in on your smartphone you know trip number whatever your truck number right and then it registers and then it goes on your phone your your axle weights comes right. right on your phone right and you leave unless you want to go in and get your receipt go ahead yeah but the, comp- the company i used to yeah, drive yeah they pay for, for it yeah the company i used to i used to drive for it gave us uh gave us a uh Gave us a a pin number or something like that that we can access. Yeah. The way my the way my truck scale and we can do it all on on our phone and we didn't have to pay for it and get reimbursed. I remember yeah. I remember those days to the get the scales and the and the and the and the tick. Oh wait wait a minute wait, bruh. Remember bruh, you had to tape it to wait, the paper. Wait a minute, bruh. Wait, wait wait a minute, bruh. Wait a minute. This is all I need to know. Can we take the turnpikes? Um, which one? <laughs> Ohio, 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 Indiana, <laughs> and the it, one up it, in Pennsylvania. They don't. They, they give you like a from point point A to point. You can only take it like so long. Mm-hmm. You get a PO number though. You get it from your DM. It gives you a PO, and then you could you run it. They used to take it out of your paycheck. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They yeah, they, have, they, they haven't been up on that. They haven't been doing that much. But the turnpike now, you know, they raised their fees. Mm-hmm. They have totally raised their fees. Exactly. Now, I don't know how much it is now, but the governor up there, he is raking truckers bad. I know, right? They're really. They, they are it, raking the people. It is, it is, it is unbelievably crazy. Unbelievable. Now what, they, now, what they used to do to me, they didn't take it out of my, they didn't take it out of my paycheck. They didn't give me my, uh, my, uh, P3 bonus. Do they still got your, that? Your bonus. Do they still got no, that? No, they, they don't they, have they, that. They, they call it, no. when I was there, they call it the P3 bonus. It's like you get right. two cent for safety, one cent for yeah. this, and this, that, and the third, and. And all that garbage that, that you know that, that that was bullshit. So you say yeah, they don't have they that no that. more. So what do they got? No, what no. do they got in the place of it? Nothing. Anything? They just give you. They just give you more money. They they they're gonna give you more money by your experience. And you know a lot of drivers complain about the holidays. They they pay you for Christmas and Thanksgiving a hundred dollars. Yeah, each. that's yeah, that's the only. Unless days. you want to work it, unless yeah. you want to work it, you know, then I'll give you another hundred dollars, but. But if you get in there and you get the training, for if you like to train students, mm-hmm. I mean that's that's you can make some good money doing that. Okay. But you're not driving the truck. It's four hundred a week plus the miles, so you get four hundred a week extra. And your student goes by your home time. Mm-hmm. How two hundred and forty hours is required of your student to drive. And you're on duty the whole time, so you're you're sitting in the seat, the, the passenger seat. And then when he's packing or she is packing, mm-hmm. you're out of the truck. Right. And that's it. You let them do their thing. You don't got nothing really. You're just training them. You know, and you got to talk to them. You got to be a psychiatrist toward them. Mm-hmm. You got to tell them how wonderful it is. And they do all the work basically. All right. They that's feel it. You show them. Yeah. 
All right. Yeah, but I'm thinking about I'm thinking about getting back into that again. I'm certified. So J and R Swoogle did a whole 180, huh? Oh yeah, and they got drive wise now too. Okay. On the Qualcomm. Okay. They have that now. They come to a weight station. You either bypass it or you go in. It it'll say pull in unless closed. That means if it's open, you gotta go in. But our CSA points have went way down. I mean, we're we're really good. They got a lot of good things. You know, they're doing a lot of good things now. Oh, okay. And yeah, it made it a lot easier for the drivers. They don't force force you now. Force dispatch. What? You know? No, they give you a load, and you got you got Pete Shugel. He's a DM. Also, he's he's pretty good too. So they got a bunch of good ones. <laughs> You know, they just tell you we know what's going on, but they don't. But you're, but you know, you get, if you get if you get Steve Cash or whatever you want to do, dry or he's on the dry side, mm-hmm. dry division. We do a lot of major stops like you know, like Lowe's and Home Depot, and um, we're doing a lot of insulation, like uh, certain T, like I told you, mm-hmm. King Solutions in Illinois. Mm-hmm. We go up there. We go. We do a lot of major places there are some little places you know wisconsin Mm -hmm. and they're getting rid of all the super singles they're going to get all new trucks with with bull tires on them michelin good tires yeah what's the shotgun what is the starting pay with with jay and our swoogle now uh i think it's 55 55 55 55. Man. Like I said, you know, you're getting the miles. Wow. I mean, because I noticed, I, I noticed, I, I seen an article that they was looking for, uh, looking for region. I mean, looking for local grow ports. So they looking for that, uh, that craft. Yeah. Distribution. I see that. Yeah. 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 They're hiring for that. Yep. Is that something you want to do or mm. interested in or maybe? I don't know. I I heard it's pretty good, man. I'm I'm Ever. gonna have to I'm gonna have to give Jay and R. Swoogle another uh, another call, bro. I'm gonna have to give them. Another you make sure call you give and, him my name. And you uh, want my truck number? Well, no. You know what? <laughs> go go ahead and uh go ahead and t- uh text everything to me because if anybody you know if anybody out here that's in- interested in Jay the new and improved J and R. Swoogle, man. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and use my man's uh name and reference, and uh, he could probably get you in. So, yeah, definitely, definitely test all that good stuff over to me, man. And I would definitely, uh, okay, I'll definitely, uh, you know, put that in the description and everything, man. All right, J and R. Swoogle, a whole one eighty, bro. But let me ask you this: Yeah, New Arm, do you know the the home office is in New Arm? Is the do they still got the the closed doors up there? And you have to call somebody. Got to let you in and all like that. Or are you able to walk? Um, in? Yeah, the front door you can't. Well, you come in the front, but a lot of drivers just go in the back. They got it upstairs too for the drivers' lounge too. They get. But what, you have what? to walk through the garage to <laughs> get to it. Though. Oh yeah, yeah, but, I know um, about. Yeah, I know about that. You you yeah. talking about the one with the with the washing machine and dryer? Yeah, 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 upstairs, yeah. and then they got the little one downstairs. Yeah, you go up to the window, and then there's somebody sitting there, so they can see you. Oh, they got somebody and, sitting at the window now because when yeah, I was there, it was yeah, nobody you, at that window. Yeah, you can sign the car out of the car, like a white. I think it's a uh, what kind of car is that? It's a yeah. little Chevy. Oh, it's a Chevy. It's a little now. white car. It was a Ford. It yeah, was a you, Ford. It was a Ford Fusion when I was there. Maybe it's a Fusion. I don't know, but it, it's always there. I mean, and it, there's no problem. Sign it out and. Mm-mm. When you come back, sign it back in. Mm-mm. Yeah, and you go up to the top of the hill up there, Walmart, wherever you gotta go, get to them. Come right back. You know, man, J and R Swoogle, a whole one. Yeah, bro. Wow. Yeah, they got a terminal in Toma, Wisconsin, um, Columbus, Ohio. They're moving out of there though. Well, They're they, gonna move closer to her loves. Yeah. Wait, Springfield. Wait, I think wait, it is. wait, wait. They moving out. They moving out of the Columbus terminal because they just. Yeah, it, they it, just it, uh, it, paid. They just paved all that. Maybe. I know. Maybe about you know before I left, they just paved all that back area. Yep, they got it all paved, but the terminal is they got they redid the whole terminal, and 
they put all the rugs and everything, but they don't got enough staff inside. So they're going to go to a smaller. Yeah, they, they, that whole that yeah that whole space that whole open area right there. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna go out and somewhere they're looking somewhere and they're they're also moving out of the Elmwood terminal over to Martin. You know, remember the Martin terminal is okay, Warren I'm, Park. I'm not sure Martin, but I know where Ellenwood is. That was garbage over there. It is. Yeah, they they put the sign up. They got a sign up, Jeremy Sugar sign on uh, Campbell Boulevard, mm -hmm. right across from U.S. Express, but on Campbell. But then behind Campbell is Martin. So they're going right. You got to go right through there to get. That's where they're going to be going. Okay. But they only have a couple people working there. That Mike Page. He's still there. He's safety manager. And Tim O'Neill actually moved to Georgia. So he's in Elmwood now. Okay. What about With Mike Page? What What about the, what's that, Toma? Is that Toma right around the corner from uh, the Walmart? Yep. Yep. Is they still, Right next to it. Is they still going to keep that one? I, I would assume that they keep yeah. that one because... That Walmart, oh, yeah. that's that's their biggest. That's one of their biggest accounts is Walmart. Yeah. Oh yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're always there. Yeah. They. Yeah, they're always going there. Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. That's good though. It's a good location too because there's a lot of down the road. Okay. Oak. Is there oak? Oak uh, something. Man. And but and they got men on men. How you say that? Menemy. Men on men 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 on men And they got that diner up there still. Ex Exit 45, or is it 145? Okay. That loves. And then there's the diner right next to it. Okay. Phoenix. So with a subway new, hooked to it. So the new and improved yeah. uh, J and R school mm -hmm. They still got. Yeah. It, they they still got the uh they still got the one dude that does all of their uh social media. I forgot his name. Um, uh, oh, they're geez. always on social media. Uh, I forgot. I forgot his name, but. Yeah, if it's and I'm I'm pat yeah y'all I'm patting myself on the back because if it wasn't for mm -hmm. lockout men, yeah, J and R right. would lockout not have man. a would not have a social media imprint if it wasn't for me. I'm just saying. That's right. I'm just saying. I know. I know. That's why. I, type, that's why I follow you. <laughs> type type in my type in my name, and you'll see yeah, something can, about J and R from lockout men. I'm just saying. <laughs> but right. I, 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 I'm gonna have to change my, I, I, I'm gonna have to change my whole perspective of them now, man. Because it sounds like everything <laughs> you said. Now listen, shotgun, you, you giving me all this good shit. But that, that, what, uh -huh. what's some, what's some cons, man? There got to be some cons to, 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 to this now. Uh, let's see, cons would be weekend dispatchers. Mm -hmm. They don't help you at all. <laughs> really, they don't. But uh, I can't really think of any right and right off hand. Okay, okay. You know, I mean, they they give you the the, the runs. I mean, if you're gonna take them, take them, run. You know, they they still do New Jersey runs. That's about the, that's a con for me, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't like New Jersey, but if you like New Jersey, yeah, you'll love it. No, nah, we good. But they go they go 48 states. They go refrigerated to us and southeast region. We go to Texas now. I do. I go to Texas a lot. I love it. Okay. I love Texas. And we go out there. Now, that's southeast region now. We're only supposed to do, like, Kentucky, Georgia, you know, North Carolina, South Carolina, mm -hmm. Alabama. We still go out there. And so they added a few on to me. Texas, Mississippi, Wisconsin, Minnesota. We go to Minnesota a lot. Okay. Of course, we got that popcorn place up there. Uh, Mankato. That's where we go a lot. Mankato, right, right. Yeah, they keep you away from Minneapolis, though. Uh, they, they keep you around it. Yeah, I don't want to go there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Too much trouble there for me. But right. um, St. Louis, they don't they don't like to send you loves in St. Louis, Missouri. Now you talking about you talking about the love you talking about the inner city loves. Yeah, right in yeah, the city. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's, <laughs> that's problematic no. for a lot of drivers. So I no, Utah. Well, in Utah now, there's on 15, I think it's Highway 15. or I've never been to Utah, actually. Mm -hmm. There's uh, somebody going around shooting the drivers now. Oh, my God. Uh, 
Yeah, a fifteen. So, that's what I heard. That's so awesome. so sad of the situation but that we got, we, that we we still go out there. We go to South Dakota. Um, we we were doing farm runs out in South Dakota and Minnesota, like Minnesota, South Dakota. I, I delivered a goat food <laughs> to a farmer. <laughs> I went right into the farm with my truck. I loved it. The guy was talking to me. He's like, "Wow, this is neat." I said, "I know. I could. I don't know how I ever found you." <laughs> I said, well, I'm standing out in the road. Oh, that's me. I'll be waving to you. That's okay. What's up. He's waving to me. I, I thought I was a, a, a hitchhiker. Man. And uh, I said, Oh, that, that, is that you? I was talking on the phone to him at the time. He said, Is that you? Pass me. <laughs> <laughs> Shotgun. Well, let me turn around. <laughs> Shotgun Shine, man. Thank you very much for coming on, man. I really do Sorry. appreciate it. I really, it was an honor. you know, I, you know, I enjoy myself you? and I'm, I, and I'm shocked that, Wonderful. that, uh, that uh, JNR Schwugel did a complete 180, man. So, uh, did a 180. Again, like I said, just leave, you know, just give me your information. I'll leave it in the description below. And and if anybody right. is interested in the new and improved JNR Schwugel, man, I'm I'm more than happy to to shout out JNR Schwugel now. I mean, shout it out. Back back yeah. then I wasn't, but but from from what Sean says, it sounds like it's a it's it's starting to be it's it's starting uh, how 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 they say. It? They making J and R Swoogle great again. <laughs> making this make sense. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. Making this make sense. <laughs> making this make sense. Well, thank I got, you. Matter of fact, mm -hmm. I, I got my own page too. My own sugar page with all the drivers on there. Okay. Well, and, uh, you, you, yeah. Yeah. Send send that link to me, bro. I'll and send I'll, you an invite. Yeah. I'll send you an invite. I appreciate I'll put it. You on there. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I can very I much. I use you. Uh, th th yeah. Hey, I, hey, there you go. <laughs> Let's you do put it. Me on a show again. You put me on a show again. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring you on the show again. <laughs> hey, you, you're a citizen now, bro. So whatever you got to promote or anything like that, let me know and we'll get it in. Oh yeah. All right, my G. Well, okay. you take it easy. You stay safe. Thank you, you very much. And I, you know, I you're appreciate welcome. everything you do out here, man. What you want?